welcome, welcome Chaos family. We welcome you, SMTV and me, I'm Jinx. We are very happy to welcome you here on day one of the Chaos Communication Camp 2019. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yeah, we are absolutely happy to be here. It's an awesome honor to stand here on the stage. Um, and I'm also kind of excited to start together the camp with you. Um, yeah, we're back at Middenberg. Yes, like four years ago. So that's one of the questions. Who've been on the camp 2015? Lots of hands, great. Who's here for the first time? <laughs> also lots of hands. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> very, very special welcome for everybody for the first time. You will have an awesome experience, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm totally excited currently, so um, sorry for being a bit nervous, but <laughs> this is a really big, big tent. Oh, dear. Um, I think, um, who came here by car? Lots of hands already, okay. Um, who had some navigation problems getting here? Okay. Not too many. Not too many. Yeah. You, you used OpenStreetMap or what you used? Uh, no, I used the uh, Apple Maps from my phone. Okay. Uh, actually, when we ended up uh, like 250 meters from the camp at the northern border of the grounds, uh, on the, somewhere on the, on the bicycle fields. Track? Hmm? On the bicycle track up there? Yes, okay. yes, we couldn't pass, <laughs> and it was like in the middle of the night, and uh, yeah, it didn't work that well. Kind of ugly, but uh, you know how it is. Use OpenStreetMap there, you can fix the bugs. Yeah, <laughs> for the way back then. Um, By the way, um, yeah, on OpenStreetMap you can fix the bugs, uh, especially on the road, but we have um, a little bit more bugs on our whole planet. There's one small bug on our pipeline. On OpenStreetMap it's pretty easy to fix, but uh, on the planet maybe not so easy. We all come from our uh, all-day job, uh, we all come from uh, with our all-day problems to here. You probably all know the software bugs you maybe experience in your all-day work. You have some life bugs, social bugs, whatever kind of bugs. We have some biting bugs here, uh, so <laughs> you might want to use some bug bite protection or something like that. Um, but it's not too shabby uh, with all the bugs here. Y you do that with that camping a lot, right? So probably yes. there are people here who, who are not so accustomed with camping. Yeah. Um, okay, there, there are two things I did excessively in my life. The one thing is this computer stuff. Most of you probably know that, um, or a lot of them. I got my first modem in the mid-90s, and from then on it all went downhill. Um, <laughs> The other, the other thing I did um, excessively was uh, taking dumps in the wood. <laughs> and I mean that literally. Uh, I think I spent more than 2,000 nights in the forest. Um, good news for everybody here, we have toilets. Um, <laughs> not, not these ones, <laughs> not, not these ones. Depends who you ask. Uh, <laughs> okay, this one are the bit toilets. Uh, they needed some signs. Yeah, every sign has a story, unfortunately. So please, if you see uh, those Dixie uh, toilets, they're not toilets. They're our Daten clothes. So, only for data dumps. <laughs> and also before you. Uh, before you look, uh, now look for some nice bushes to take your dumps, we have some real toilets and also you can find it on the map everywhere. Um, 
breaking toilets, it's also like flooding toilets. Uh, we have, we want to ask you for one favor. We have internet here, we have nice internet here, but we have not enough internet here to pixel flood from the cloud. Uh, so use the bandwidth for some reasonable, normal stuff and not breaking all the uh, connection for everybody. Uh, I think that the cloudy stuff is a, is a good, uh, good thing to talk about. So um, you said some things pardon, um, about bugs. <laughs> yeah, we have some <laughs> bugs, but we have also some communication bugs. Yeah, lots of them. <laughs> <laughs> this looks quite buggy, but it actually works. Yeah, sometimes something that looks like a bug isn't one, and sometimes something looks really, really fine, but it's totally buggy. For communication, we have for you some decked phones. Um, we have a whole deck coverage on the whole campground. And uh, as you may know from the last Congress, we have it, uh, the awesome guys from the uh, phone operation center uh, had now a self-registration tool. So you don't need to line up for hours in the sun to get your deck registration. They have a how-to on their blog. You will find it on eventphone.de. Yes. And That's thank you for eventphone. <laughs> there are also GSM cards available at uh, the eventphone team, um, uh, or village. It is a village here. And uh, for the field phone, uh, there's an extra village. So if you've got some field telephones with you, please connect with those guys. And also, it's incredible connected all thing together. I have no idea how they do that. But you can call from a field phone, a mobile phone outside in the world. Yes. I mean, where can you do that? Magic. It's like the rainbow, you know? That's magic, and you can do that without using the cloud. And now we need to talk about clouds, right? Yes. The buggy ones. The buggy ones, yeah. This is a picture from 2015. So uh, for everyone who had been here at Siegelei Park Miltenberg probably knows that pic, and it's really an awesome picture. Um, We've got lots of raining clouds on it, too. And uh, we've got the data clouds raining. I think everyone here knows about now uh, those. You know, the pouring data. <laughs> pouring data, yeah. It's several ends of everywhere. But we also got the weather clouds. And uh, yes, weather prediction looks very, very fine for th uh, the camp. But in case it starts to rain, please secure your tent and get inside somewhere, not getting too wet and get, get a cold or something. So please be careful. We are outside. So no shady Shocking cellar uh, stuff. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh, water, water is also an issue um, sometimes in traveling, especially on, in deserts. Um, but also good news for you here. Uh, finding water is slightly easier than in the desert. Um, we want to save a little bit of water for the environment. We also use a lot, but one thing is important. Please, please wash your hands. Especially before food. Before please eating, do. before preparing food. Yes, please do. Yeah. Please do. Because if not, um, yeah, there are not nice things to there. Yes, yeah. about those bugs, but really small ones. <laughs> yeah, um, you can. Uh, we have some lakes and stuff in the round in, in the surrounding of the camp, so you can jump in, uh, swim there, and then uh, hop in the shower afterwards. We've got uh, shower Wonderland is ready. Since You've been uh, there? Today. Not yet, but it looked really, really crazy. I, I also just saw a picture. It must be. We yeah. were talking about making a bar there and some music. I don't know if they already got a DJ for the Shower Wonderland. Ooh, pool party. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, drinking water. Drinking water is available uh, all over the campsite uh, in or at several uh, drinking water stations. So no problem refilling your bottles. Uh, bottles? You can show your <laughs> bottle if you like. 
Yeah, or reuse your bottle. Or reuse bottles here you brought or uh, some plastic bottles you just bought somewhere. You can just fill them up with drinking water everywhere here. Oh, yes. Um, Who knows 621? 621. Not so no. many hands, okay? Okay, very uh, important rule. It was, it was somewhat like, uh, wait, um, six showers, two decent cups of coffee and one hour of sheep, right? Roughly, roughly. Okay, how was it? Um, six hours of sleep, um, two decent meals and uh, one shower. Per day? Per day. Per nerd? Per nerd. Okay. Okay, once again. Six hours of sleep. Yes. Two decent meals. Yes. One shower per day. Yeah. Per person. Yes. Okay. I'm honest. Okay, everyone remember? Good. You know that? And then, most important thing, install your personal firewall. Yeah. <laughs> Sunscreen, a hat, maybe sunglasses, and most important, hydrate yourself. Yes. It's warm on the day, the sun is shining, uh, we have not so many clouds, uh, so it's really good if you do that. And also, uh, the next thing after personal firewall would be if you see some people with steak paralysis after food. Yeah, or falling asleep outside in the sun for whatever reason. Um, or falling asleep outside uh, at night. It's getting really, really cold at night already. So uh, please take care of all your fellow nerds here. Please uh, just talk to them. Is it, are you okay? Are you sleeping here intentionally? Uh, please <laughs> take care of other people. Yeah, like I said. <laughs> We have a lot of crazy good food here, so uh, the chance is high that you have steak paralysis after eating too much. Probably, yes. Probably. Uh, taking care. Yeah. Um, taking care about you, your friends, and all your uh, people around you. Um, who would win? Yeah. Um, so there are kids on the ground. Um, there should be no cars on the grounds, no uh, personal or private cars here. Uh, there will be cars, like uh, the garbage collection trucks. Uh, there will be big other cars, lorries that bring food and so on. So uh, please, uh, if you see little kids running around unattended, have a look uh, out and look for, for uh, kids, for animals uh, and so on. So. Yeah. We, we try to minimize the traffic on the ground, but it will not work without, because we have a huge infrastructure here. Uh, so just take care and watch out. Um, also, if you run around in the night, it's absolutely awesome to see what happens here at night. Um, it would be great if you have some lights with you if you walk around, or especially if you drive with a bicycle. Please, please, please. It's a lot more interesting to walk around, to see, have time to see all things. Um, you don't need a bike in the night um, uh, or with some lights. And if you drive with any th uh, anything, always with lights on, please. <laughs> yeah, this is one part of be excellent to each other. Yes. The most important thing. The most important thing, yes. So, um, actually, when I came, uh, yeah, I, I actually missed the last camp by a few weeks. I came to the Chaos family like weeks after the last camp. So uh, this is my first one. <laughs> um, but when I came to my first Congress in 2015, I was totally flashed by how the people interact, by all the respect, by yeah, being excellent to each other. It was such uh, not nice is not the real world uh, word. Yeah. It's like it's this kind of be excellent because yeah. uh, people respect each other. Um, if there is any problem, you can easily talk with them um, and yeah. explain what your problem is, or ask what the problem is, and you get an explanation. And 
that is pretty easy to handle and everybody feels a lot more comfortable here um, yes. when we are be excellent to each other. But not only to each other, you know, not only to your fellow nerds here, but also to your neighbors, to your tent neighbors, but also to the neighbors outside of the grounds. You know, there are people too. Probably not nerds, but real people. And um, also to wildlife, we've got lots of animals living on the ground, like rabbits and stuff. So be excellent to wildlife too. That would be nice. Don't uh, drive them flat or something. Um, <laughs> and um, I think it was a very nice um, phrase to say it. It's all creatures welcome. Absolutely. Yeah. Also bugs. <laughs> So what, I, or what is my, my really personal thing to say to all of you? You, the whole Chaos community, the Chaos family, you're so special. Your, uh, your ethics and your being excellent to each other, this should be a model for the whole world, for all, all the mainstream people out there. You should really uh, enjoy the feeling of, uh, of this excellence, of this just participating in that community. Enjoy it for the next days and then take it with you to the outside world. It is so awesome being here again. Absolutely. Um, One important part is uh, being excellent to each other is our photo policy. Um, we are living in a surveillance world, so um, being not monitored is uh, kind of very special in these times. And we really, really want um, the people to act free here on the ground. So it would be um, the photo policy is pretty easy before you take a picture ask everybody in the frame if he's fine with him, not afterwards, yeah? That's the most important part. Yeah, this, this is a really, <laughs> yeah. really big thing, actually. And be, uh, be excellent to each other also means uh, the noise thing. Um, yes. So on building up, we had some fun with these ones. Um, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the neighbors didn't like them too much. I want to be apologize. I want to apologize for the neighbors and say thank you very much for your patience. We'll be away in a couple of days, but until then we are definitely noisy. But be, uh, please be nice because if you're quiet, we can hear chirping crickets here. <laughs> Oh yes, a big <laughs> thing actually, uh, a thing that I always um, encounter in, in the other world, <laughs> so in that mainstream world, uh, mainstream world um, there are, probably because of the whole discussion uh, with uh, mansplaining and stuff and people actually don't, or, or they stopped asking, especially uh, people who are, who are a bit shy, they actually, some of them actually already stopped asking. Please don't hesitate to ask. So there are lots of cool things other people know, other people already encountered, who can uh, tell you things about stuff, crazy stuff. There's so much to explore here. Don't hesitate to ask. And also don't hesitate to, uh, to ask for help if you need any. Yeah, thank you. And <laughs> don't hesitate to explain if asked. So um, th this is also a really, really big part. So don't hesitate to explain to someone if they ask you. So no nerd explaining uh, without being asked. But um, afterwards, it was really, really cool. Um, the other thing um, about asking, there are some usually asked questions, the FAQs. You probably all got uh, this flyer, this map uh, on the entrance. 
you can see it probably. Um, there is a map inside with a rough overview, but we have a more detailed online version on that of the map. You can find all the most important information on the back side of the map, like the link to the uh, far plan where we have the, all the talks in it, uh, the contact numbers for all kind of problems. If you have a medical problem, if you have something else, you can find the right connections here. Uh, so don't hesitate to ask on the map. Um, also like uh, CERT, uh, etc. you can find contact dates there and if uh, you're online, you can find on help.ccc.de some basic information how we work or the extensive version. So yes. please use that. The most important thing is that uh, all the stuff which we'll bring here is mostly running on angels, um, which are some uh, volunteering people here. You, you know what, what Nick you, Farr tweeted a while ago? You had, you had some special experience there, right? Uh, <laughs> yes, I, I, I had some interesting conversations with him, uh, with him but I think he tweeted it. Um, he said, um, you have one maybe two magical events for free. For the rest, you'll have to work for it. And um, I think he got the really good point because of bringing that, that experience to everyone is a real big thing if you uh, participate in making this event only possible this whole thing would not be possible without volunteers. That escalated pretty hard from my side. Um, <laughs> I came 2015 here uh, on the camp and will start a little bit uh, angeling or helping out for sorting the villages. Uh, this year I uh, invested probably hundreds of hours on planning that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Don't hesitate to angel, not everybody will, start, will fall in that hole. <laughs> yeah, but, um, but it's not the people who plan the event, it's uh, the people who actually yes. do the work here on the grounds yeah. too. We need to run the uh, event um, and it's pretty fine if you do one, two shifts, whatever, but please help to make this an awesome event. Um, you can find the systems on angelsystem.de and it's a perfect way to come into the family, to see, to meet people. You can sit in the entrance. This was one of my first jobs uh, four years ago, sitting on the entrance, checking uh, wristbands. the wristbands yeah. and uh, talking with the people beside me. We had an awesome time. I can really recommend that to you. Yes. And also being an angel is the perfect way to explore the ground. Honey, I, uh, I think they shrunk the fairy dust. <laughs> the small one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> so there are people here on the ground who bring really, really awesome stuff to camp. There's so many great projects. One of them is uh, exhibited here. <laughs> um, they brought us some, some uh, decoration, uh, a real life fairy dust in, uh, I think it's uh, 1 to 11 scale and a whole uh, What's it? TROC, Train Operation Center, with a model <laughs> train of the, of the train we have on the ground. So this is only one thing you can explore here on the ground. We have a very, 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 very long list of projects, villages, uh, self-organized sessions, workshops. We have a lineup for our... Um, uh, DJ sets? DJ sets, yes, exactly. Um, we have here in the two uh, big halls, Hall 1 and Hall 2, Curie and Meitner. We have a very big plan, a lot of very interesting talks. There are too far, far too many to just pick one or two and mention here. Um, just go explore, uh, you find it on the map. You can also find for the uh, exploring on the ground on map.events.ccc.de. Um, a very good overview works with your mobile phone and also with GPS positioning, so you can't get lost. Um, there's that crazy thing in Intent 2. Oh, yeah. Um, Intent 2, uh, that's the people from the walk. These are the, all the nice guys who make this possible with all the video streaming online and the 
media CCC, DE binge watching afterwards. <laughs> um, that, yeah, big applause for the walk. You know what? Um, I, yeah. I think I know what I forgot in the beginning. There is that video operation center and there are people in that live stream. Yeah, hello live stream. Hello live stream. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I totally forgot in the beginning. I was so nervous. So, hi, hello live stream. Hi, mom. <laughs> you, you know, when, I, when we were at Easter Hack in Vienna, um, I sent a picture from the opening to, to my family. And uh, my mom asked me back, what's that? And I said, it's the workshop uh, weekend from the CCC. And my mom answered, oh, great, is there a live stream? So, yes, <laughs> there is. Everything done right. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> yes. Okay, back to the thing in, uh, workshop, uh, uh, in Hall 2. There is a thing for people with technical hearing improvement systems. Um, they introduced some inductive loops and the uh, walk is kindly asking for people to try it out and give feedback. I think it's just around the um, area where the uh, poles are, uh, where they mix up the, all the systems. So if you have something uh, you can try out there, they will be happy. So that's not possible in that tent one, yeah. sorry. <laughs> And one other awesome thing, um, I totally forgot tomorrow, uh, today in the morning to get my badge, my cardio badge. You probably hear about that. Um, the cardio badge is your own open source hackable smart watch for getting on the ridge. Fully loaded with some sensors, for example, um, ECG, position sensors, accelerometer, temperature, humidity, and a lot more. They're explaining only after being asked. Okay. <laughs> now, we really can highly recommend that the um, badge team did an awesome job. Uh, you see, they, this picture is from yesterday. So. <laughs> I really recommend everybody to get into that. Um, I was really amazed about the a batch from the uh, camp 2015. And if you want to get more details, just stay here. The next talk is about cardio, just here in, uh, at 12 o'clock. Yeah, back to exploring the grounds. Oh. Um, we have the power. No, uh, people from the power, uh, C3 power have the power. And yeah. we're really happy uh, that they uh, shared with us. Exactly. We have a lot of power here on the ground because laptops need power. We all know that. Yes. Um, there are some rails in use. Um, before you use a cable over, uh, over some rails, uh, ask around if they are safe. Because if not, you're offline faster, as you can see. Yes. <laughs> And we mean it. Yeah. <laughs> and also very important, uh, don't connect um, from one ground to the other where a big way is in between. Because if you connect two of these generators, boom. We don't want that. If, if you don't know where to connect, ask your neighbors. Don't hesitate to ask uh, or follow some of the other courts uh, where you can go. Um, Energy in total is uh, not only here a kind of issue, we are probably safe on that side here at the moment, um, but I think it's a little slightly bigger bug on our planet. Yes, uh, so the, or what we at CCC always mirror are the topics that the mainstream world also has. Sustainability is one of them, so um, power is one of them. But we have a lot more bugs to fix in the world. So it's not only the sustainability topic, but it's a big one of them. We also have like social and political problems out there that have to be fixed. Absolutely. Yes. Just open the newspaper and you find all the bugs. I think they, they sell us as features. I think that's in politics, right? Yes. Okay, shit. Yeah. But yes, uh, so as long as we see 
the problems or the bugs as what they are, we have the possibility to actually fix them. Um, you know that that. Um, go on, sorry. I, I shall yeah. go faster. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do we have next? Um, no, not uh, not that fast because we just uh, one important thing is uh, we had this is whole sustainability. Yes. Um, discussions we had in the 60s, we had them in the 80s. You know it from your dad. Um, yeah. I know it from my dad or my family. Um, and it's crazy that we have it again. And we see the next yeah. generation coming up. Big thanks to Greta and Fridays for Future to bring it again. Yeah. Thank you. I see some flags over there going up. <laughs> yeah, the Great. flags are starting already. Yes. Um, I have to look up on my notes here. <laughs> oh, yes. I think we're going over that too, because I already said that, that it's easy to find the bugs, but it's really hard to find solutions. As politics already said at several points, oh, we can't deliver a, a, a fast solution for that or a simple solution. We don't want a simple solution. We just want it to be fixed. Damn it. So um, let's work together on the real solutions. And yes, there can't be quick ones. <laughs> So it's on every one of us to stand up, to gear up. We can gear up here at camp. We can talk to people who actually have solutions or who have start, uh, starts for solutions. Yeah. The, the thing is we have here, um, I think, nearby 5,000 people, uh, roughly around that. And everybody has this hacker nerdy spirit so we have all full of ideas but we need to exchange our ideas we need to talk to each other we need to find solutions for smaller problems for bigger problems for all the bugs so we can spread it into the world and uh, try to live here some kind of utopic nice thing there is about freedom has a big thing about sustainability extinction rebellion is here um, there it's was a Bits and Bäume um, was a nice um, or was a great conference which connects um, people from the sustainability movement with us as hackers because we can find very nice solutions for upcycling, for recycling, um, for all these bugs. So please run around, talk with the people, have a look, gear up with your facts, gear up with your discussion points so you can afterwards get out and make this planet a little bit bigger. Yeah, so this actually is your call to adventure. Go out into this wonderful wonderland we have outside here for the next five days. Go out there, explore everything, live it, feel it, and then take it with you when we go out again. But first, be here, and enjoy. Absolutely. So the last thing I have to say, I want to wish you a very, very adventurous journey here on the camp, to, uh, on the Chaos Communication Camp 2019. And please hack the planet. Thank you.